we are not doing architecture, just actually we pretend to do architecture. That's, a, that's the main joy for us, because we actually we never built something real. You know, that's, um, uh, that's the fun part of it. What happens when you, when you want to do a movie is you start to have a story or something like a story. And so you try to you start to think about what, what you want to tell about what is within the story, what is about the story. And the moment you do that, you, the story needs a place you know, to, 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 to happen. And that is actually the same process like you can say in the theater. In the theater you have the stage. And in, in, the, in a film, you probably would not have a stage unless the stage is part of the story. So you have to create the whole world for the story. And it doesn't really matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's like a science fiction fantasy thing and you have to imagine or invent an entire new world which doesn't exist. Or if you play just in your own apartment in a city you know well or something, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. The, the system is always the same. You have to make up the rules and to, to set up the world for the story. So the, 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 the world becomes the stage, so to say, for the story. That's what you have to do as a production designer. What I'm going to show you today is a, a very, uh, for, for our circumstances, a very unusual project because we were asked to build an entire, not only an entire street, but actually more than a street, what you can already see here in, the, in this little uh, mock-up model. It's almost like a block of street, uh, of streets, and of course the main question was at the time um, how can we how can we recreate Berlin in the twenty in the late twenties, um, and how and how and where could we possibly shoot that because Berlin almost a hundred years later now, uh, obviously has changed entirely. Studio Babelsberg, which is the big studio outside in Berlin here which used to be the, the UFA and then the DEFA, so it's like the home of, of movie making, you know, one of the, the oldest studios in the world, really, where film was invented. And they desperately wanted to create or build a new backlot street. This is now the, the, the finished floor plan of the whole, um, of the whole uh, street, what we call the Neue Berliner Straße. And here we can already see it's almost the same. I think we flipped the, the, the streets from left to right, but it didn't make any difference. Um, is that we had like two longer streets and two shorter ones. This is the connecting one. So in this case, we have the, the richer part of Berlin on this side developing around the corner in what we call Kreuzberg, which is like the bourgeois in between part of Berlin and then getting poorer and poorer and had the very modern uh, shopping and, 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 and nightlife street over here. And the whole thing was connected uh, through a system of courtyards, which is very typical for Berlin architecture. So, and then we started um, to design the individual facades, which was kind of funny because we were, we were starting to design um, in the very beginning with two or three uh, people uh, on the computer and after I think one or two days um, when we started to look at what what happened we were it was so extremely boring and 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 uninspiring um, is that we switched them off and and went back to pen and paper really because you can see that probably a little bit here is because what we did um, on this kind of facades from turn of the century is um, I mean you know the structure of, of, of the facade is is, is is rather boring and in this case here almost the same all the time so it so the design is more in the in the dimension uh, and in the architectural details and um, for us to do this on computer, didn't make sense because here you can pretend to design because it's you can just sketch it up a little and um, that was more than good enough for us in the in the beginning and much easier to do than with the computer what we started to do is that we went uh, down alongside the street and every facade is getting less and less ornamented so you can see that even on this image already that you know the they that they're getting easier and and uh, less elaborate. 
as it goes on. This is the Mokka FD is the is the only really specific design we did for a kind of a, a big nightclub, which plays a bigger part in the in the series. And um, what's interesting for us was looking at all this very really modern stuff is um, really how fantastically modern the 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 the, the modernist architecture in Berlin at this time was. There are buildings in you know which you still would think they are super modern and they are from really 25 or something it's, and it's, it's an amazing thing so here this is the the the, the street on the other side which is the the poorer street and even here you can see how the buildings or the facades getting more and more poor and slim and kind of run down also with the in terms of the colors what's happening is when you're standing in in you know on the one side of the street and look down um because of this this uh, dissolve of the facades from rich to poor, poorer, 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 is that you still can look down the street and have the idea of uh, saying, okay, now we are in a better neighborhood. And the moment you turn around the corner, um, you have the same um, sensation. Looking backwards, you have the same sensation. At the same time, you still can you ha can have the transition from from rich to poor. Otherwise, we could never kind of achieve the whole city in this little four streets. This now um, was like the the final model, you know, with very different to the model before, because this is all like the design facades put together um, as they are, were supposed to be or to, supposed to look like afterwards. So. Um, this was much more elaborate and kind of fun. Again, we were we were we were keeping it pretty simple, as you can see. It's still uh, more or less black and white copies of the of the drawings put on on cardboard and and put together, which is actually good enough. And here, and of course, again here you can see, um, you know, what is so different because the backside of 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 the model. Uh, is obviously not like it's not like a mistake because that's all what we build. I mean, we only build facades. So a, a building in our case is, I mean, from the facade you see is like 50 centimeters, and that's it. And everything else is scaffolding behind it. Right? It's like a really, a very shallow skin. It's nothing behind it. Never. You know, the moment you need somebody to to stand behind a window or. Or come come outside a door or something. You start building this individually. So um, on a backlot street like this, you can see that also later on on the photographs, it's it's really it's just a, it's a it's a hollow kind of body. There's nothing really behind it. Imagine for a for a for a series like Babylon Berlin for the first sixteen episodes, I think we we would have. Um, about 40 different locations, let's say, in Berlin. So, the, Because the idea for the series was that every image which plays, uh, or every scene which plays in Berlin, other than on some uh, scenes on Alexanderplatz and in front of like specific buildings of some, of some characters, but every general image of, you know, taking place in Berlin was shot in the, in, in the back lot. We, didn't, we never mix up with real locations in the city. So therefore, the, our you know tiny four streets had to represent over forty different locations, supposed to be entirely somewhere else. So how would you do that? You know, that's like you only have four street corners, and you can have only like eight perspectives in this case. Um, how would you do that? So that's how that's why the, the digital editions you know came into place. And from our side, changing again, changing shops and changing pubs and changing whatever in the foreground, and everything else was really something we needed to discuss with um, with director camera um, to say how can we, you know, use this at night and this at day, and this is out of focus, and this is with rain, and this is with fog, and this is out of whatever. So that so that every every moment really started to look very different, and it kind of worked. You know, and again, then changing the background again, so the, that you would never have automatically the same uh, uh, images in the depth, um, and change the, the whole thing. And that's how it works. And that's how you. Uh, that's almost the the only possible way to do a complex period movie nowadays in a city like, or representing like Berlin.